This is the seventh and final section of chapter four on graphs and transformations, and this is on transforming functions. Now, on these types of questions, you'll be given a graph, and a graph will be labeled as maybe f of x or g of x, and then you need to perform some sort of transformation on that graph. So here's a summary of all of the different transformations and what to do with either the x or the y coordinate. Here are the two special cases here. When we have um, these stretches or squashes in the x and y direction, and here I've just put a note, don't forget about asymptotes. So on these questions, the really important thing is getting the shape of your sketch cor uh, correct and getting the correct coordinates for your transformed graph. Example 15, the following diagram shows a sketch of the curve f of x which passes through the origin here. The points a uh, a 1, 4, 3, 1 line the curve, and then we need to sketch each of the following, and we're going to do each one on a separate grid. So the first thing we need to do is to identify what the transformation is. So where we have uh, y equals f of x plus 1, this will move this graph here across this way by 1. So we're going to draw the same shape, but we're going to subtract one from each one of the x coordinates. So I'm actually going to put the coordinates on first before I draw my sketch. So this coordinate was 0, 0. If I take one away from the x coordinate, it now becomes negative 1, 0. The coordinate that was 1, 4 now becomes 0, 4 this here so that will be four there the coordinate that was three one now becomes two one so somewhere around here and then the um, that's it that's the last coordinate so we're just marking those values two and one and then all i need to do is to draw that same shape going through these coordinates here so let's draw that so start down here Go up there and uh, let's try and draw a little bit better because this needs to be at that minimum there. So let's try again. There we go. So something like that. Right, so I'm now going to write down what's happened to each of these coordinates. So the coordinate that was at the origin has now become negative one zero. The coordinate that was at A has now become 0, 4, and the coordinate that was at B has now become 2, 1. Right, let's have a look at part B. So we have y equals f, and then in brackets, x minus 1. So this will move the graph by 1 this way. So this means I need to add 1 to the x coordinates. So 0, 0 now becomes 1, 0. So maybe I can fill that in as I go along. So the origin becomes 1, 0. A, add 1 to that x coordinate, now becomes 2, 4. So maybe someone over here. So we'll just put A becomes 2, 4. And then add 1 to B. That now becomes 4, 1. So somewhere over here, 4, 1. Oops. And then we'll just write down that the image of that point B is now 4, 1. So B now becomes 4, 1. And then we just join up the dots, keeping the same shape. So it's going up there, through there, and down there. So try and get that sketch. So like this, like this, and then back up again. Now notice on this question, it doesn't ask us to write down the points where it crosses the axis, like this one, for example, because we don't know what it's going to be, because we don't know what the equation of 
this curve here is. I suppose it's possible to work it out because we know it's a cubic. That might be something you might want to try and figure out for yourself what this is. But it's not going to ask us this. We need to know what the equation of this is. And without extra information, we're probably not going to be able to work it out. So part C, we have this transformation, y equals f of x minus 4. So what this is going to do, it's going to move the whole graph down by 4. So what this means is we take the original y coordinates and we take away 0 from or take away 4 from them. So if we start with the origin, if we take 4 away from the y coordinate, 0, 0 becomes 0 minus 4. Point A, we take 4 away from the y coordinate, we end up with 1, 0. And point B, if we take 4 away from the y coordinate, we end up with 3, negative 3. We'll plot those points on our diagram. So 0, minus 4, down here, 1, 0, which will be something like this. And then 3, negative 3, so probably something like this. So just like before, all we're going to do now is to join up the points like this, keeping the same shape. So I have something like this. OK, let's create a bit of space for parts D and E. Now with part D, we actually need to rearrange it so it's in the right format. This should just say y over here and nothing else. So if we divide both sides by 2, we'll get y equals a half f of x. So this is a stretch in this direction by a stretch of a half, which means we actually need to multiply all of the y coordinates by a half, divide them by 2. So we'll work out the coordinates first before plotting them and then sketching. Right, so the origin here, divide the y coordinate by 2, which is 0. So that stays a 0, 0. The point A, we divide or multiply the y coordinate by half. We'll get 1, 2. And B, multiply the y coordinate by a half will give us 3, a half. So we're going to mark those points on. And then we'll draw a sketch. So 0, 0, 1, 2, so maybe something like that, 1, 2, and then 3, a half. So 3, a half, we'll see a half there, like that. And then, as before, just join the crosses with the same shape. So up through there, down there, and then back up. And then lastly, part E, and E has y minus 1 equals f of x. So remember, we should only have y this side, so we've got to rearrange it first. So we'll add y to, uh, 1 to both sides, so have y equals f of x plus 1. And this, this is going to move the whole graph up by 1. So we add 1 to the y coordinates. So 0, 0 will become 0, 1. A, which is 1, 4, will now become 1, 5. And B, which was 3, 1, now becomes 3, 2. I'm going to draw our axis, plot those points, then draw the sketch. OK, so 0, 1, we'll mark that there. 1, 5, so maybe we'll put it up here somewhere. 1, 5, and then 3, 2. 3, 2, we'll mark that here, and we just join up the points as before. So down here, up here, and then through that point there. Now you could, if you want to, when you draw your sketches, mark the points A, B, C, and then write their coordinates on the diagram if you wish. So you should now be able to do exercise 4G on pages 80 to 81.